Alright. A cool picture too. All right. Coaches, you want to come over here? Sit down, relax, yeah. and see them? Wherever you want to be, guys. Hi. Wherever you like to be. Thanks. Whenever you guys are ready. Oh, nice picture. Okay, go ahead. I love our team coming kind of worse. Our cats will be dealing with memory loss, which is a real life problem that affects just about everyone, not only people with Alzheimer's disease and amnesia. To develop a device that can restore your memory called the iBrain. How the iBrain works is quite simple. We do a small brain surgery operation. We target the sensory nerves that go to the hippocampus. The hippocampus is the part of the brain that stores all of your memory. In this procedure, we split the sensory nerves and mirror the image and send the exact information to the silicone-based chip. The chip is then able to store all the information. We then connect the chip back to the hippocampus with another nerve that is connected to a refresh button located behind your ear. When the refresh button is pressed, it releases the information to the hippocampus. We feel we can keep the price down on the eye brain because we can feel because there would be a very high demand and everyone could benefit from it. Our research has found that currently there is not a whole lot of effective treatments for memory loss. We have found a healthy diet and some prescription drugs only slow down memory loss but does not help recover memory. We are seeing the possibilities for treating Alzheimer's disease to add amnesia or just plan for getting a phone number, misplacing a toy, or you put your school book, or simply refresh the eye brain before that all important test. new stuff right away, rather than reviewing the stuff they learned last year for the first couple of months of school. What do you want, Sonny? Hey, Grandpa, it's me, Bob. I don't know any Bob. Grandpa, try to stay in your eye brain. Hey, Bob, you want to get paid in the game? It's about to start. Ah, oh, shucks. The eye brain would be a great tool for for treating Alzheimer's disease. We have found that depending on the degree of the, the, the disease, they may have to reset the eye brain multiple times a day. Wow, hey, are you all right, dude? What? Where am I? How are you? How did I get here? You are totally in competition. Level what? You're looking for fresh eye brain. Oh, hey, guys. How's it going? With the eye brain, we can help people who suffer from amnesia. With a simple push of a button, they can recover their memory instantly. Any questions? Wow, oh, wow. pretty cool idea. All right. Okay, sure. I want to see this drawing of this eye brain again. Yeah, where's the drawing? Okay, tell me again now, how does this work exactly? It gets implanted in someone, right? Yeah. Yes. Ooh, we, uh, they use nerves coming in here, it mirrors the memory image through here, goes up here and goes into the chip, and it carries the memory up into the hippocampus, which is on the left side of your brain and the memory part of your brain. Every time you push the reset button, it pro um, repeats that process. We mirror, we mirror the image so the brain can process the image and so the chip can also process more at the same time. So, okay. no, I was just wondering, how, how did you research this? Is there anything out there about... We, we went to the Van Angel Institute and questioned um, a professional about um, about um, if, there's an, if there's any existing thing like this. They said that um, they're trying them, and so far they've been having some remarkable results. Right. Kind of like what he said, the, 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 the most of the common stuff is just the drugs and the healthy diet. So most most of the simple stuff. Cool. And the chip's maximum memory is ten terabytes and we chose to have it made of silicone because it is waterproof. Okay. Did you did you check any other sources besides your interviews? Um we uh 
um, interviewed a um, professional therapist for people with Alzheimer's. Okay. All right. Okay, and you, probably, you might wonder why it's all the way down here instead yeah. of up here. It's because um, the brain is very sensitive to heat, and if this got hotter, it would cause more brain damage. And how much do you think you'll have to pay Steve, Steve Jobs for using the name iBrain? Can <laughs> <laughs> you put on our iPod? <laughs> That's right. There you go. And if you don't put the, um, the chip right onto the brain, because if it overheats, it'll do some damage to right. the physical campus. So it would actually be doing worse better than good. So who have you presented this idea to? Um, the therapist. Yeah, the therapist. Um, and that, the my, my and some parents. And some parents. And they kind of said it was pretty good. Yeah. And had some good research and some good creativity. Yeah. Yeah. Very creative. Very creative. Thank you, you guys. Mm -hmm. We appreciate you. it. Oh, I, I had one more. How soon do you think we'll have one of these on, on the market? What do you think? Um, one right away. Two on, months? Yes. on the market? Yep. Yeah. Uh, oh, no. That, two and <laughs> three months. months. Two I, to three months? I, 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 don't I don't know. Hooking this up to the brain? Yeah. Put it this no, way. We, we haven't we asked we anybody so. who actually, okay. like, can right. do that yet. So they're still trying. So we haven't really asked anybody if they can actually do that. Like, okay. take like take off part yeah, of your, doctor. like, the back of your head and just, like, Stick the chip in there. Okay, okay I have one more question for you. So I'm, it looks like you did some internet searches too. Yes. Okay. And did you Science Daily? Okay. All right. Good. All Thank right. you very much. Wonderful. Good luck this afternoon.